out this morning was the year's first real frost. It was a lot of white all over the ground. I had to scrape my car windows. Today we're out in the middle of absolutely nowhere. We're going off of a GPS coordinate, which is vague, apparently. <laughs> but I think we're getting close. It is hunting season. Today's actually Halloween. <laughs> so we've got our orange. Keep our eye out for hunters that also have permission for this land. Trying to get shot. Uh, so we're still walking. We're up in these conifers. Mike's making his way down the hill. Is the cellar's down there? We've got quite the descent. Do we? Yep. Oh, good. So far, we haven't really seen any human activity up here. Now I don't even see any game trails. <laughs> this is pure bushwhacking. Oh no, you're right. Wow. We're not going to be able to make it down that. There's got to be a trail. Wow, this is incredible. It's probably right down there. See that opening? Yeah. Incredible. All right, we gotta get down this face. It's gotta be a couple hundred feet down there, maybe more. All right, you ready? stone wall here. You see a cellar? Down there? Interesting. This must just be a pasture. Let's go see if we can find the cellar. Unpack our gear and see if we can find some stuff. Well, I've got my first find here. And I, I don't know what it is. It's brass. When I first saw it, um, I thought it was at the end of a, of a cane or the top of a parasol. We find those often enough. But now I'm looking at this. It looks like there's a very intricate design. And it looks like there's text right there. Oh, look at that. That's a unicorn. That's for sure a unicorn. And there's text on things all over the place. Oh look, there's a lion. Yeah, that's definitely a lion. This is a crest. Well, I'm gonna have to let you know what this is later <laughs> because I can't read it. Um, it's folded right in the absolute worst spot. But uh, that's exciting. All right, good first find, let's keep going. Was, did you find it in wood? In the ground. Oh, it was in the ground? Yeah. Yeah, he got an old musket ball that squished, it made impact with the tree, likely. And uh, it's still surrounded in wood. That's cool. Old musket ball. That's probably from the time period. Yeah. Nice. All right, well, we've spent about two hours here and really the only thing we found was Mike's musket ball and my little brass crest thing. I suspect somebody's been here in the past. Uh, so we're going to move on. There's just the slightest remnants of a trail we're going to hike down. And uh, see what else we can find um, out on this property. So we're still walking along. And this is just an incredible stone wall that goes up the mountain. I'm not sure if you can appreciate that through the camera lens, but it goes right up on through. That's super cool. You get any targets over there? Oh, a couple. That's the, uh, that's the way we're gonna go uphill, but we'll detect along the way and maybe we'll find a few things. It's starting to be a beautiful day out here. Let's keep going. Uh, so we're kind of on a little bank right here and Mike has a beautiful 83 target. 
but we haven't really found much today, so <laughs> it's probably a uh, 1984 quarter. Is it silver? Yep. Come on. Hang on a second. Yeah, it's another barber. Mm -hmm. Good for you. 1901. Found my last barber on a little hill on the side of the. Did you? Remember when you were gold panning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's true. 1901. <sighs> Amazing. I always wonder how. You know, they wind up on banks. I always imagined it was in somebody's pocket and they wiped out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Good for you. I was uh, getting a little discouraged today because it's been. Man, it's been. You owe me a dollar. You I do. Dollar. We made a bet, a first coin, but I get a dollar. I'm up a dollar ten today. <laughs> <laughs> so we're still kind of hiking through, wandering around. And Mike spotted this stone wall that starts in the middle of nowhere. Does it end right here, too? Or does it keep going? See, it starts and it's holding back some water. It keeps going, so this is the beginning of it then. That's interesting. Cool. Goes off that direction. wandering for a while since that barber dime spot and uh, we came across this stone wall and I believe there's a very modest cellar right there as well my very first target it was just a 40 I just decided to dig the first solid tone I found is this little piece of pewter which has me very excited because this is old 1700s. So we're gonna, I'm out of breath because we've been hiking so hard. Um, so we're gonna spend as much time here as possible. It is the end of the day. We have maybe 40 minutes. Let's see what we can find here. All right, well, uh, I just rechecked my hole. Check this out. Look at that. That's incredible. I don't honestly know if that symbol represents anything, but promising, nothing on the back. All right, well, let's spend some time here. He yelled over to me here, we got a thimble. Is it brass, silver, or gold? Brass, little thimble. I hear varying theories on the thimbles. Mm -hmm. um, you find them in fields, supposedly because they're sewing up bags of crops or whatever, but the home site is right here, so I suspect that's for mending clothes. Cool, good find. All right, I did it. First coin we got here it's pretty thick Oop. there's Britannia on the back it's British all right well the front I can just tell that the guys facing right but um, I can tell from the back you can see this big ridge around the outside this is a George the first it looks like that date down there might be legible with a little bit of work here all right you see that Appears to be 1720. Nice one. That's awesome. All right, I'm on the board now. Let's see if maybe we can find a couple more. Uh, so Mike just found a button, the likes of which I have never seen. Clearly, there's the shank back there, but it is like a rounded. Yeah, it's like a little mountain. Mushroom. Interesting. This is a, clearly a very old place. Maybe somebody will have some information on buttons like that. Cool. That's, I've never found anything like that before. I don't see anywhere that might have been a home, but Mike just spotted some. I don't think they're droppings, because I think they regurgitate it. But this is from an owl. I th you think it's an owl? There's tiny bones in there. Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah, no, I, I agree this is this is an owl. But I'm I'm fairly certain that this is uh regurgitation and not not, not poop. There's a little jawbone right a there. Bone? A wishbone, yeah, you wanna make a wish? 
Hey, look at this little, little leg bone. Something. You should try to re... Try to put it back together again. Reanimate it. I'd love to find a little skull, but... Yeah, yeah it's uh, from an owl. It has a certain name. I don't remember what... Owl yeah. pellets? It has an, I don't remember what it is, but that's always cool to find. People are probably going to freak out that I'm touching it with my fingers, but... Make sure you don't wash your hands before you touch them. Yeah, I won't put them in my mouth. Cool. All right, let's keep moving. All right, well, just a few weeks ago, we found one of these, and it wasn't whole. Check it out. Take it, man. It is enormous. Oh, it's got the petals on it. Oh, that is awesome. It's in one piece. It is absolutely packed with dirt. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get, get it to ring for us right now. All right. Good place, good sight. Let's keep going. Well, uh, Mike just found a nice little brass target. Whoa, did you see it? Did you clean it off? Look at that. Yeah. There's a very fancy like checkerboard design on there. Is it? Yeah, this is the other half of uh, a, a reins guide that would have been affixed to leather. That's cool. That's a pretty common thing for sites this old because they used oxen and horses for everything so <laughs> thanks for calling it common i mean it's not you're not you're not going to find it in like a walmart parking lot but <laughs> my whole metal detecting career i think i've probably found five so pretty cool yeah. all right we have a another mystery item here it's uh, a brass square it looked like whatever this was hinged at this point man i don't know that's a very odd colonial relic. Very interesting. All right, let's keep moving. All right, Mike just got his first real nice target. Oh no, because you found the barber. Second nice target of the day. Ah, it's a coin. It's chipped. There's Britannia. Really? Yeah. Which means it's either going to be a British coin or a state coin. Colonial? It's definitely colonial, yeah. There she is right there. Oh, I got you. She's got like a stick and a yeah. shield. So, unfortunately on the face, there's just an O, and you can't see which direction the bust is facing. So up here is an O, and that could be an O for Connecticut, or it could be an O for George. Georgives. All right, good job, Mike. First colonial coin broke. You haven't even found a coin from the 1800s yet. No, You've got the 1700s. I don't mess with the 1800s. No, just the 19s and the 17s. And then I skipped to the 15s. Yeah? Only odd I don't know what this is. Broke it. Huh? Break it. Break what? Whatever it is. No, I didn't break it, whatever it is. But I think I did it. I don't know if that's silver or what it is. Oh, that's f***ing gold. It's so small. I don't recognize it. It's so small. That's not gold. That's got to be silver, but it's so small. I don't know what it is. It's got a reeded edge. Now I'm just going to spray it with water. Oh my god. Did I just do it? I don't think that's gold. There's no way. Oh my god, it looks like it though. It's gold, man. No way. I don't recognize it. It looks Spanish. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh my god, I'm shaking. It's very tiny. God, is this gold? It's hard to tell. I think you have to scratch it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that's gold. It's freaking gold, Mike! That's awesome. Are you kidding me? This is my gold coin. Is it really gold? I think it's really gold. Yeah, the edges look gold. Oh my god. 
It's a freaking gold coin, Mike. Holy sh! That's exactly what that is. It's a Spanish gold coin. Oh my God! Hold on. It's small. Oh God. Turn it over. 1786. 17. Merlin. It's, it's, it's King Charles. C A R O L the third. 1786. Oh my God. This is absolutely That's incredible. incredible. People are going to ask it rang up like a 40 something on the metal detector. Isn't yeah. Isn't that low? Very low. Is there anything else in that pile? I'll recheck it. That's amazing, man. A freaking gold coin! I found it, finally. We were on the way here and we were talking about bucket list stuff. That's awesome. Gold coin. That's the wind's amazing. picking up. up. Is it 40? 40 something. Man. Now I gotta take everything. This is absolutely incredible. I don't know what this is. I mean, I don't know what the name of this is. It's not a real. I'm gonna stop rubbing on it. That's what it is, a little gold coin. Whoo! What an incredible day. Uh, um, it's, it's gonna be dark in like half an hour, otherwise we would probably spend all night here. We found so much amazing stuff. And on top of that, I found the top of, of my bucket list, uh, a gold coin, and it's old. And it's Spanish. Crazy. Okay, well, um, from over here, these are all just buttons, and none of them really have any designs on them. My super fancy pewter spoon, I have more of it uh, in my bag still. We have my uh, George the First, and Mike's, uh, it's either a Connecticut or George the Third, I believe. His barber, which is still somewhat out of place from the rest of this stuff, but still very exciting this very peculiar pyramid type button. I've never seen anything like that before. It's pretty cool. His uh, leather adornment. My mystery flap. This, I actually did get a little bit of cell service and I was able to just quickly uh, Google, you know, unicorn, lion. Uh, and it's just, it's Britain's seal, apparently. So uh, what this is, I'm not sure. Um, we're gonna call it the end of a sword scabbard. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's what it is, but um, that's the best I got. Uh, we have our giant crotal bell, and I st still haven't really cleaned it out yet, so uh, we're not gonna hear it ring, but I'm sure that it will. Uh, Mike found this, and it's a big iron tool, colonial, and I know that it has a name, but uh, I don't know what it is. Potato Ho, I don't know. I know it has a very specific name, but I don't know what it is. Um, and that's very, very cool. Whenever we find full, complete pieces of iron tool like that, like axe heads or, or things like that, um, I always try to bring them home if possible. Uh, and lastly, the, the most incredible find of the year of my metal detecting hobby career, my, um, I, again, I looked this up. It's a half Escudo. I don't know for sure. I think this is about equivalent to a, what would be a dollar um, back then. Uh, so we didn't see any uh, ghosts and goblins out in the woods today, um, but found a gold coin. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed watching. I'm gonna remember today forever. And uh, thanks for watching. See you soon.